Okay. Yes! I made it! Woo! I made it! Hey! We made it! Yes! Yeah! Feels good! <laughs> Would you look at that? There's no greater joy than ringing that bell and knowing you defeated cancer. Joining us on Coast Live now, that very happy man, cancer survivor Larry Davis, and Dr. Alan Thornton of the Hampton University Proton Therapy Institute. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. First of all, Larry, take me back to that moment and the long battle and then knowing that you had overcome cancer. April, it's, uh, it was a crazy feeling when, I, when they told me I had uh, cancer. It was like, you know, I had been a, an advocate for cancer, a prostate cancer for about five years. And uh, it was like, after then it was like, oh my God. Mm. You know, uh, it's interesting. And I had to throw my ego out the door. Okay. Because it's interesting when men, when they have uh, uh, cancer or, or things like that, especially prostate cancer, they don't say, wow, what can I do to take care of that? They said, oh my God. Mm, they're embarrassed. You know, yeah. they're embarrassed yeah. and they're reaching for their genitals mm -hmm. because that's the first thing popping our mind. We, right. we, you know, we just made like that. And, and uh, uh, then uh, uh, I was talking with uh, Charlie Hill and a few others and uh, been doing some research on, on the uh, proton side. That that's where I wanted to go. The uh, Hampton uh, uh, Veterans Hospital told me that they wouldn't do it. Mm. Uh, they would cut it out or they would freeze it, but they wouldn't do that at all. I asked them why. You know, my father had just died from, pro uh, from, from cancer, uh, especially prostate cancer, mm -hmm. in uh, um, it was March the 1st, 2013. And then my brother, after then, uh, he retired from the military, he had prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. And um, I finally talked him into getting his taken care of. And then it was me, and like my, and as you see, yes, my father, you see in the picture there on the left, the smooth fella there, and my <laughs> brother also. Another smooth fella. <laughs> Another smooth fella. <laughs> you know, but um, I decided to do Proton, and uh, I asked them why bec wouldn't they not do this, and they tell me, well, we just don't do that. Right. And I said, well, hold it, uh, I was in the Vietnam era. And you promised all of us when we come back here, if we, if we came back, you were going to take care of us right, right. in proper manner. And is it not proper to give me the best that's out there? Mm -hmm. And that's what I want, the best that's out there. Let's talk about the best. Let me ask Dr. Mm -hmm. Thornton. Dr. Thornton, why is this such a, a viable option for folks as opposed to like chemo and radiation? Well, it, this is another form of radiation, mm -hmm. but it is a much more perfected, localized form of radiation than the alternatives. Mm -hmm. On average, we treat 70% less normal tissue that does not need to be treated compared to conventional therapy. I see. So it's a, it's a better mousetrap, and okay. it's not new. We've been doing it since 1961 at Harvard, so this is wow. a well-described, well, uh, uh, refined uh, uh, process of treatment. Uh, what is it like to be able to have that right there at Hampton University? I mean, available to all of the people in this community, and I'm sure you get people uh, worldwide coming down. Oh, literally, I have three three families in the Middle East right now, literally mm -hmm. being treated. So this is a, this truly is a wonderful resource that's brought to us by Dr. Harvey and Hampton University. It, it, these centers are truly regional resources; they're, mm -hmm. they're not localized uh, processes. We see patients from all over the Mid Atlantic and all over the country. Excellent, excellent. Talk to me about you becoming an advocate. I know you were an advocate before you had cancer, mm -hmm. but probably even stronger now after. Yes, even stronger now. Uh, uh, as my friends tell me, especially Charlie Hill and some others too, is that uh, now you're off the bench and you're in the game. Mm. And when you're in the game, you play a whole different ball. That's right. You know, and, and I've done a lot of uh, different things as far as uh, going to different people's homes and so forth, speaking to them in reference to cancer, speaking to them in reference to especially proton and how it would benefit them by being non-invasive. I uh, was able to uh, I give seminars and presentations at uh, my church, and as you see there, you see me knocking on these doors. You're going door to door, Larry. 615 homes. Wow. I sure did. Incredible. And, and letting them know about uh, proton, let them know about uh, how they can get their cancer treated with the best proton facility in the world, not right. just Virginia, in the world. And that's right. something we in Virginia should be proud of. Yeah. Doctor, tell me about the side effects. 
Uh, honestly, the side effects depend upon where in the body we're treating. But okay. for the prostate, they're very minimal. I have patients that go and play rounds of golf literally every day. Wow. And their golf is good enough to justify that, mm -hmm. unlike mine. Uh, but uh, they play well. They have very few side effects. It's In the prostate, it's all about saving the rectum. Right. And saving the uh, complications of rectal damage. Mm -hmm. And our, our risks are significantly less than conventional therapy. And that's the big advantage of proton therapy while achieving the, the, ultimate, the highest cure rate. Larry, you have the, the gala that's coming up, the gala of hope. Talk yes. to me about that, the date and everything, and, yes. and how it helps people. Okay, before then, I'm going to say one thing about side effects, okay? okay. Because one of the things that most men uh, uh, won't talk to you about, uh, side effects, if you are taking uh, any other conventional problem, possibility of therapy, you've got a two and a half year possibility of erectile dysfunction. Right. With uh, the proton, you have a 95 point seven percent chance that you will have no erectile dysfunction at all excellent and when men find out about that they say oh uh oh i gotta look at proton well you know and uh, also people are helped so much about the with the gala of hope because oh, it yes. helps people who don't have the funds yes, and that's indeed. happening october 29th at 6 p.m it'll be at the hampton roads convention center and definitely for more information visit hamptonproton.org because gentlemen thank you so much we got to okay. wrap and move on nice to some thing. others but larry thank you so much dr yes, thornton thank, thank you so much and still ahead on coast live